welcome to Ucanic. In this video, we're going to show you how to diagnose the airbag warning light. So in this case, you're going to need a scanner that can read airbag fault calls from Volkswagen. So here we have the Ucanic scanner. We're going to go to diagnostics. This scanner will work basically on all makes and models. But we're interested in Volkswagen. Here we can enter the make and model manually, but we can do smart VIN. What that does, it pulls the VIN number of the car. And that way it knows what year make and model it is and loads the correct software for this particular make and model. And we select diagnostics, quick scan will go through all the control units on the car and tell you basically what fault codes are in each one of them. And uh, description, so it's a good way to check the health of the vehicle. But we're going to go to control modules himself and select um, airbag control system so as you can see here you can diagnose all these um, control modules here some of them the vehicle might not have so if it's not you're gonna see it says no communication uh, if there is a module that the let's say if we're trying to connect to airbag control system and it's not communicating and we know the car does have uh, airbags and airbag system then that means there's an issue with uh, the, the airbag control module or maybe power is not getting to it but sometimes you'll not have communication because the car doesn't have let's say keyless start so you can't communicate with that module it's not installing the car here we are inside the airbag control system we can read codes and this will tell us what's going on as far as why the airbag light might be on function restriction of seat occupied recognition that code is active and then we have uh, sporadic low voltage basically on um, yes, for the module but this come and goes it's passive meaning it's not an active issue right now but um, it's been detected in the past and the car monitors that, that, that control module will monitor this issue uh, for several more cycles this for example right there typically can be um, a common issue for example you'll see on this Volkswagen is the the sensor that's installed in the passenger seat that de determines is if a child is seated there uh, to not deploy their airbags because that can cause more injuries than protect them. So, but once you get that code, then you can dive in and fix the issue. You can come back here because the airbag codes do not clear on their own. Like the check engine light, for example, codes or engine light will they will reset after you drive a car for a while, but not the airbag codes. So. Um, make sure the ignition on and engine is not running and then you can clear the code um i'll click clear it no there because we didn't fix the issue but this uh, will clear the codes and if the codes don't clear it's because the uh, the issue is not fixed here is see your information it tells you what information about the airbag control module so if you're looking for a replacement it's good to come in here and then look at hardware for example part number and you can see software and coding and things like that uh, live data so here it's going to you can select d these different values so you can start with one and then go to two and so on uh, but it tells you like if there's something wrong you say fault or an error here you can show it as a graph as well um, but um, activate tests this you got to be very careful with this and activate tests in the airbag control unit because you can activate and deploy you know airbag so that's something you need to be very careful crash uh, threshold exceeded belt tensioner we're not gonna test that um, or activate that so activate test is really good for uh, other modules as well so you can test motors and uh, you can test you can activate you know different component sensors and things like that fuel pump relays um, so that's what activate test does but a reading code usually will be the first thing you want to do and that will uh, give you a really good hint on what's going on while your airbag light is on. 